hey guys so today i'm going to draw lord ram so let's get right into it and start with the pencil work one thing you need to understand while doing pencil work is that you have to make the sketching very light this helps you to keep your paper clean and also makes it easier for you to erase if you make a mistake if you want to erase all the graphite you can use a kneadable eraser at as it is better than the normal erasers also guys you need to ensure that you get the proportions of your drawing right so now i am drawing the legs of lord ram as you can see i've completed the torso also one very important thing you must remember is that the different parts of the body should be proportionate if they are not the drawing starts to look weird now I'm drawing the feet of Lord Ram. The first one is a pretty long one because he's jumping and hence his feet is elongated. So you need to make sure that the feet does not look abnormal but just enough long to make it look like he's jumping. While making straight lines it is better to be very slow and go slowly. Now I'm drawing the bow and arrows. As you can see i have done a very light sketch however i am not satisfied with this one so i am eventually gonna erase it now guys i have completed the inking of this drawing so let's start coloring and finish this thing so guys when you start coloring you must always start with the lightest tone because it helps you understand the shadows and the other elements of a color drawing better. So I started with the fluorescent yellow. Now I'm going to go with the middle tone which is the orange. Also then I'm going to do with the darkest tone to give in the more brighter shadows. Then I'm going to go again with the middle most tone to sort of blend in the different parts. Also guys the finer details you should do them with pins as it is more higher risk if you do with the markers as they will bleed. So here I use ballpoint pens to ensure the precise and correct shape. Of Again I am using the same property that I used while coloring the hair. Starting from lightest tone to middlemost tone and then finally adding the darkest shadow tone. You must remember that you have to add shadows to the places which are away from the light source to make it look realistic. Now finally in the edges which are supposed to be the most dark you can use a different color to make it pop out of the drawing even more than using the same tone. Also guys if you want to make a part of your drawing more highlighted just use a lighter color in that. I did the same thing with the face so that it looks slightly different than the rest of the drawing. Now guys this time I'm showing you how I did the gem in slower motion or maybe the normal timing that I took. So the first thing I did was take the light tone then in the boundaries I went with the darkest tone I had. Also guys you must remember if you are drawing a piece of cloth and it has light spots in its different parts so you must never try to do the light spots after applying the darker color. As you can see the dhoti had lighter spots so I first did the color that was the lighter one and then overlaid it with the darker colors. Now I am going to do the whole dhoti with the same color. So, wherever there is a lighter color in the dhoti, I can leave that 
and it will also look more realistic and be less shabby. As I told you before that I was going to do the darker tones, now I am doing that thing. As you can see, I am going to leave out a portion of the lighter tone which makes it pop out even more than usual. I am going to do this throughout the drawing and then go with the other tones of the color. A very important thing while adding shadows is that the places where you have left a very bright color you must leave a slight space of the middle tone. If you remove the middle tone out of the place then that highlight spot looks very absurd. As you can see I am leaving out a very small yet noticeable place to ensure that the lighter tones and the highlight places look very well ingrated in the drawing. This also helps to shade the drawing better and gives a more realistic shadow effect. You must do this throughout the drawing and not in a single place because otherwise it looks not out of the place in the drawing. So once you have done the shadow tones, all that is left is the last tone which gives it a more deeper impact and really brings the whole clothes to life. The same goes with the other colors, first add the lighter tone and the darker tone. Now in this specific place, I have done this color first because the effect of the light on his feet was somewhat different than the other parts of the drawing. Therefore only in the end I am going to add a little bit of yellow in different places to give it a more realistic effect. Also guys Lord Ram is always depicted with a circular aura behind his head. So I am going to do the same thing in this drawing as well. The circular aura is the most important part because it has to be well blended. You can't have different parts of shading in different parts of the circle. Now I am going to add the outline with a simple pencil. So that it does not smudge in with the alcoholic marker itself.
Now guys, the drawing is very nearly done. So, enjoy the reveal. So guys, the drawing is finally done. I think that this drawing was one of my best drawings ever as it turned out vibrant and was pretty clean. So as you can see, there are many details and starting from the face, I tried to make it very precise. As you can see, the arms have more tinier details to make them look more realistic. Also, the god is holding a bow and an arrow it is an old-fashioned bow so the shape of the bow was quite difficult to make but in the end i managed to make it and i was quite satisfied the most difficult part of the drawing was probably the god's dhoti i actually had to use five different colors to get this result starting from the lightest tone from the middle and then to the darkest tone the last component of the drawing was the border it is not actually printed but i actually did it with markers the gems there were two of them were a pretty nice detail that added to the realism of the god's arm so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video stay safe and keep drawing also guys if you haven't subscribed yet go down and hit the subscribe button now here are some pictures of my drawing also guys if you like this video why not give it a like and feel free to share your views about my drawing in the comment section below also guys stay safe and see you in the next video